Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your your video. This is, if you're watching this um, live, it comes on 10.30 Eastern Standard Time um, every night p.m. 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you'd like the live chat, there's a great group of people that get in here every night. And if you're just watching without being in the chat, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, I've already said my prayers, so we're just going to get into the reading here in a minute. But first, I want to tell you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here, for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you. And thank you. Thank you so much for being here. So let's see who wants to come out here for this um, oracle part of the reading i was guided to use three different oracle decks and we'll see who wants to come out wow we got a few cards there um i also want to uh welcome you if you're new here um and welcome you back if you're not to aquarius by aquarius i am your host colleen and i'm doing this reading october 19th tarot is timeless though no matter when you see this here okay we have observer we have loyal heart and we have to the sea. Somebody could literally be at the sea or someone could be sitting alone thinking. Someone could be on their boat. Um, but we have, a, you know, someone's compass is pointing right at you and right here observing. Someone is observing you. Maybe somebody um, could even be looking at pictures or anything like that. But I feel like somebody is recognizing that there's something about you, okay? Um, I channeled a song, forgot to mention that, I channeled a song and it's called True, and I'll put that song with the lyrics in the description box below, and it does talk about in there, you know, they bought a ticket to the world, and they're only to come back again, so someone is observing something, I think maybe someone's trying to let you go, or you have, vice versa, and we have Blessed, so we have 22, we have 7, 7 is soon. 35 it's uh you could be seeing threes or fives fives change okay um threes can be about union all right um coming together especially in tarot and then that turns to eight that's infinity and then we have 49 so fours angel protection all right stability nines almost there and then that turns to 13, which again is four. So, and here's four. You could definitely be seeing a lot of fours. I do think somebody is sitting, uh, thinking about their connection with you, okay? And at, I, look, we have thinker and we have 44. You could definitely be seeing fours a lot. Um, and thinking about changing things, we have 41, which turns to five. A lot of thinking. I mean, you can't make this up. You saw me shuffle the cards. Someone is definitely thinking about you or vice versa here. Give me some more Oracle cards. We have retreat. So I know that someone is spending time thinking. All right. Thinking about a very strong, strong connection um, between you and them for sure. We have healing energy, stripping illusions. So, you know, your energy might be very healing. They might want to heal things, okay, if they're, uh, because, you know, I don't know, you know, this person, maybe you and this person never even had a relationship, but this person is just thinking about you and how good you would be together, okay, or that you could be their person. We're going to get into the tarot and find out more, but this is stripping illusions. So I do believe that someone is seeing the truth in the connection that they have with you or vice versa here. If you are already aware of a connection that you have with them, then it's going to be them realizing it. And we have what you don't see as growth. Growth. So whoever did not see the connection could be a person who is growing now and expanding. We're going to pull from the Island Time Wellness, then we'll get into the tarot. Wow. Hm. We, this person is, I would not be surprised if uh, the death card doesn't come out because this person is growing and changing. It says new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. So this could be somebody who's changed their mind about a connection. Um, we have growth in two cards and this could take off really quickly. Once somebody realizes something, they might literally 
be alone in solitude thinking could be on a boat but we do have passion on the bottom of the deck so i don't know somebody is uh in their feels okay right about now let's see what wants to come out i'm going to do the celtic cross here show me what i need to see for this reading and like I said, I will put the song with the description in the description box below. It would be the song with the lyrics. It's an 80s song. Show me what I need to see. Ten cards. If I'm that lucky, <laughs> the devil. You know, we're starting off this with, and if no one's dealing with the Capricorn, starting off with somebody who's just sort of on the wrong path. Um, you can even see here it says wrong way. Somebody was going down the wrong path. This person's got money they got their addictions you know the smoking they got wine or excuse me champagne not paying attention to the people that they could potentially be hurting or hurt because these people are kind of invisible to this person so um if that sounds like someone you know ace of cups this is a person who might feel like oh my gosh um i think i'm in love you know I think I'm in love. Eight of coins in the reverse. This is a person who did not focus on you, did not uh, recognize you, all right? Or maybe you quit focusing on them. We have two more major arcana here. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, excuse me, in the upright. It's in the past, for the past, and it's Sagittarius energy. Um, so, this is explaining the recent past right here, and this person might have recently thought that now is a good time to connect. And then we have Magician, which is uh, Virgo, Gemini, Mercury energy. It is a card of communication, though you could be dealing with any of these signs, don't have to be. But this is three major arcana right here. So I feel like somebody recently has realized the path, the trajectory that they were on, and that now maybe is a good time to reconnect with you and that you know might even be thinking about an ace of cups an ace of cups can talk about uh love it can talk about um being in love it can talk about you know a child for some of you like a a baby or something like that if any of you had had any of that together uh but this is definitely a person who was not focused on you before now in the near future six of cups so we do have two cards of children or child so there is the near future you know this person is thinking we have six of cups look at this person thinking so they're already thinking all right they're already thinking they're still thinking in the near future about this connection or maybe about you know because i don't know who this person is i don't know if you guys share children together anything like that or if this is a child but either way these are the thoughts you see how this person's thinking this person's thinking and they're thinking of you and them now we have blessed our blessing so that might be a surprise from the divine okay whatever that blessing is and then we have the lovers here you know the lovers is a very close close connection give me the staff and then i will clarify eight of cups is a return and like i was guided to the part of the song where it says i bought a ticket to the world and when i heard that it reminded me of divine masculine energy of not not meant, meaning it's a man or a woman just the energy of usually buying a ticket to the world wanting to indulge in the world and the worldly things okay um more than anything else and when it said i bought a ticket to the world only to come back again so this is coming back all right this is coming back i think someone's learned or seen enough and you're still on their mind three more cards all right you want me to shuffle we will do that again This person wants to make up with you. Five of blades reverse. Um, make up, make amends, make peace, and start a whole brand new relationship. Start over. So we have the Ace of Cups upright, the Ace of Pentacles in the upright, all this major arcana. Three right here, two more right here. 
which is Hierophant and the Moon Reverse. So um, the song is called True, and at some point, you know, in the song it says, I don't even, this is the sound of my soul, and I don't even know what to write for the next line. All I want you to know is the truth or something like this. So this would be somebody exposing, bringing something to light, possibly the truth and how they feel. Um, the Hierophant, and maybe the truth is they've learned a lesson. Maybe the truth is they're ascending. Maybe the truth is they want a commitment. But whatever the truth is, it's going to come out with that moon reverse. Pisces, Taurus energy right there. So it could be any of the signs I've named. We also have Cancer on the bottom. And we have Scorpio on the bottom. We have the world here. We have a lot of major arcana. So I do feel if anything's going to culminate or come back around between you two, I feel like it's coming here soon. And obviously everyone has their own free will. Okay. So... Let's clarify the devil, Capricorn energy. In this case, somebody being on the wrong path if you're not literally dealing with a Capricorn. Um, somebody may be realizing they want something different for themselves. Ace of Swords, sideways when it comes to this Ace of Coins. And it does seem like maybe when you were dealing this per with this person, they weren't clear. They weren't very clear on what kind of um, what they wanted for themselves or what they wanted when it came to you and them. All right. Whoever this person is, I feel like they didn't have clarity on what they wanted, whatever this ace of coins was, and it could be a relationship. And we do have a queen of cups here on the bottom of the deck and justice. And I do feel like somebody wants to at least make things right um, with the person that they know has or had a lot of love for them, whoever this is. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. So I feel like somebody, because this landed on the Eight of Cups reverse, I feel like somebody has been in a lot of thoughts here. Um, maybe even not being able to focus on anything else because it literally landed on the eight of coins reverse which is i can't focus all right someone could be awake um someone could even be you know having a hard time sleeping because this is something that occupies their mind a lot of worry a lot of stress when it comes to this ace of cups whatever that ace of cups is between you whether it's a child or the love you guys have between you or whatever this ace of cups is but the ace of cups is an absolute blessing it's a divine blessing And I feel like maybe somebody feels that they were blessed, blessed to have this opportunity or to have this kind of love. But I do keep seeing, for, this ain't for everyone, obviously, when it comes to a child. But this, I do keep seeing a lot of those kind of cards. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in the reverse. We had the Queen of Cups in the upright. I feel like you had love for this person and this person was not reciprocal uh, because the Eight of Cups reverse is clarified by the King of Cups reverse and the Page of Wands in the upright. This person was not mature. This person could even be a lot younger. This person was not ready, all right? They bought a ticket to the world and here they come back again. But this time I feel they're coming back wanting this i feel like they're going to let you know this but i do feel like some time has gone by i'm not going to lie here not with this um hangman pisces energy in the upright but you know we have the lovers in the upright gemini energy communication um and the eight of wands also very quick communication or travel so i do feel that you're going to hear from this person and the eight of cups in reverse not once but twice so two cards of a return Maybe this person had to go off on their own and learn some things. Not saying that um, you're taking them back. Obviously, it's up to you. Whoever this is, roles can be reversed. Tell me about the recent past, which is the Wheel of Fortune. We have the card of the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. And it, maybe there's been a Virgo who's holding back, who's coming forward with the 
four of pentacles upright and the four of cups reverse um there's there's you know a very strong couple here we have the empress right here and i feel like if anyone was going to tame the beast so to speak maybe it is uh the connection you guys have with each other but this can talk about breaking silence can talk about coming out of hermit mode um and someone recently feels like maybe now's the time maybe now's the time to make a reappearance maybe now it's just the right time so i you know like i said i do feel with that hangman card that some time some time has passed here uh since you and this person interacted tell me about the magician um virgo gemini energy also mercury energy here tell me about that it's at the top it's a goal it's a you know someone manifesting and i can't help but there's a kid there so for not for everyone but for some some you might have a child with this person or maybe this person wants a child with you but either way someone wants to communicate their love and express how they feel someone who's held back and someone who was definitely not on the right path they weren't ready and they held back tell me about the magician The Three of Swords wants to come out, but it didn't. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. So you might see this person around that time. This person could have Virgo, Sagittarius in their chart, but these two cards right here are strong Virgo. Um, this could have been a person who they just, I, you know, I picked up on the immaturity. They could be physically younger, but they just were not ready bingo there's my phone going off they were just not ready but i feel like um i feel like that they are coming back in i don't know if they're sticking around tell me about the six of cups because of free will i can never say someone is 100 percent going to do something okay because you have free will they have free will we all have our free will i can never say someone is 100 percent going to do this I, I can't do that nobody can tell me about the six of cups that's thinking about you close connection children and again <laughs> we have the magician twice again the magician Virgo, Gemini, Mercury, energy. Whatever's going on, this person is definitely manifesting you. Definitely manifesting you. Um, Virgo could be manifesting Aquarius. Gemini could be. Aquarius could be manifesting, okay, if you're uh, cross-watching. But we have somebody here, you know, this is a Wounded Warrior card, and this is a Three of Swords. And we have a higher font. We might have somebody who's been operating out of their wounded side, out of trauma. Um, someone who has a bad outlook when it comes to, because um, we have a higher font here twice. That's a commitment, okay? That's tradition, but it's it's a commitment, okay? And someone, if someone's linking some sort of trauma, heartache, injury, when it comes to a commitment, um that might be why it didn't work out. That might be why somebody sabotaged and chose another connection, but not this connection. Someone could have been operating out of trauma and wounding. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Knight of Cups in the reverse. All right, this is a person who, um, you know, they could have water in their chart, but they're showing up. They're just showing up either younger or not as mature and they're showing up as um they're showing up different all right knight of cups in the reverse maybe it's someone that you even dated before or maybe it's just somebody who is an actual child um, or parent but there's somebody now who it's just it's different they're not the same they've grown i feel like they're not the same um but i do feel like they want a new beginning because the fool is on the bottom but this is also aquarius uranus energy and we have the two of wands you may not want this person you might make peace with them or maybe this is what they're thinking 
Maybe they're thinking, I won't be accepted by them. Give me another card for that because I'm getting too many. Eight of Cups Reverse. It is definitely clarifying the Eight of Cups Reverse. The Sun. The Sun in Reverse. For quite literally some of you, this has to do with a Sun. Like a literal Sun. Or Leo. But, you know, somebody could have been thinking they were too young or they weren't ready they didn't know what made them happy so they bought a ticket to the world that's what i just keep feeling like they were obviously confused i feel like this might be a person who you're not expecting them to come in they could they could just show up tell me about the five of swords in reverse that's uh, wanting to make up make peace make amends yeah four ones in the reverse this is someone who chose uh, to go another way. This is also a card of 1111. It's a, it's, a, it's a happy reunion. It's stability. It's completion. But this could be somebody who feels like maybe it's not over or it's not too late and maybe we can just make up. But they're really trying to make a decision here. Tell me about the Ace of Coins. That's this new opportunity, this new beginning, possibly a new relationship, new it's a blessing. All the aces are divinely guided. They're blessings. Six of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. You know, this... Um, whoever this person is, they were busy getting a lot of attention and they were not ready okay for settling down they weren't ready to build a legacy this is ten of pentacles in the upright it's building a legacy it's long term but before it can ever get here it's got to start with the ace of pentacles which is right here now we have the six of wands in reverse this is a person who gets a lot of attention from they get followers or the community or whatever now maybe this person feels like you're not going to recognize them when they come back around or maybe it has you know it is in a hope and a fear position so they could also be worried you're not going to you know reciprocate with them that you don't want this with them and then you don't recognize them but i feel that they're hoping you do because now they want this this is a person coming in now mature more mature maybe they're older now or maybe they are more mature now it doesn't really matter maybe they're more stable now with the king of pentacles energy towards virgo capricorn Tell me about the ending here. We've got two cards to clarify, then we will pull from the Archangel Michael message deck. Tell me about the Hierophant, Taurus energy. The, st the teacher student unlocking the next level, Seven of Cups. Yeah. I feel like somebody was very confused, but someone could have had a dream that... You guys were married. If that's for this person, if this person wasn't sure about that. But this, they could have had a dream about you. Um, this is a person who seemed like they were uh, very confused. And But this can also be making a choice. Sometimes Seven of Cups is having these options. And sometimes in reverse it can be saying, I've made my choice. This is what I want. Because they are showing up with the King of Cups here. Thing is... This person hasn't told you that they want this. Now the higher fonts in the upright again and the page of cups is in the reverse, which could be an apology, a judgment reverse. Maybe somebody wants to apologize and say, hey, I made a mistake. You haven't heard anything. You don't know that they feel this way. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Pisces energy. Landed on the Three of Cups. Excuse me, the Ace of Cups. Right now, this person is sort of sitting and stewing in their emotions. All right? It does seem like that they will come forward. Right now, they're just sort of sitting and stewing in their emotions. Um, might even be a little bit numb. So, this person, I feel, is going to be guided um, when to come in even they might just sit in their feelings and just feel guided 
give me another card for that and then we'll close out so this is a person that is probably going to come in um, right now they're thinking okay and right now they're changing they're currently going through a change we got the Phoenix this is a person who is probably going to be night and day from when you knew them to when you see them uh, cancer Scorpio energy this is a person who's going to come forward and say how they feel again we have Pisces cancer energy and ten of Pentacles reverse this is going to be someone who's going to explain why they weren't around and this is going to be someone who comes in with the truth above all with the whole song and everything I channeled the person is coming in with the truth so you can't expect the truth you can't expect that this person is not the same person as when you were dealing with them before let's close out with a bonus card show me what I need to see here don't settle for less you're a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true don't give up and I do believe you have a dream coming true and I do believe things are changing and those butterflies are a symbol of uh, change death rebirth which is associated with Scorpio and Pluto which are coming up here soon for Aquarius anyway guys I love you I'll see you in your next reading thank you for tuning in to Aquarius by Aquarius and namaste my friends